It's 1.30 p.m. at the Yaroslavsky train station in Moscow. The train number two, the famous Trans-Siberian Express, is about to leave for Vladivostok. A one-week journey across the world's largest country that gives us a unique opportunity to discover Russia off the beaten path. Trans-Siberian Express is a train like no other, a legend. It's the longest rail line in the world, almost 9,300 kilometers across Ural and Siberia. It is the pride of Russia. For Angelika Podobina, it's an honor, almost a privilege to work on board this train. This train is a part of our history. I'm a patriot, and I'm really proud to work on this train, the train number one. Pet project of Tsar Alexander III, the Trans-Siberian Railway, was completed in the early 20th century. It was a daunting task, but was key to establishing Moscow's sovereignty over resource-rich Siberia. It became the backbone of modern Russia. For many world travelers, the Trans-Siberian is the stuff dreams are made of. Natalie and Dean Smart have always had a thing for trains. They just got married. And this is how they're spending their honeymoon. Something we've both always wanted to do. It kind of just got bigger and bigger from there as we started to talk about it, hasn't it? It's a mode of travel we really enjoy, but, but equally it's, um, you know, there's others. It's about going over land, really, isn't it? She's a Brit, he's an Aussie, and together they've decided to travel from London to Sydney by train, a 20,000 kilometer journey, 14 countries in four months. It's the journey, isn't it? So and that's the exciting part. The destinations are amazing, but sometimes it's the journey and that's what the train's all about. The train's about the journey. But for Angelika Padobina, riding the train is no holiday. She's responsible for the passenger's comfort and safety. She leaves home for 15 days treacherous. More than a job, it's a calling, a way of life. You get used to it. You end up having two parallel lives, one at home and one here on the train. I love my job. I love to communicate with people. It brings a lot of satisfaction. From dusk till dawn, Angela scrubs and cleans the carriage, welcomes passengers, provides blankets and pillows, and, most importantly, makes sure there's always hot water for tea. It's a tradition to drink tea uh, all road long. Uh, Tea is a, a liquid <laughs> that connects people, not only vodka. Boris Pieterikov has also got a thing for trains. He rides one whenever possible. Russian trains aren't known for being very fast. But that, he says, is exactly what makes them so lovable. I don't like fast trains. Train is a really perfect place to think about your life, about your business things, or about how your life is going. Time on the Trans-Siberian Express appears frozen. The train crosses seven different time zones. To kill time, Dean and Natalie brought games and books. They also write a blog to share their everyday life on the train. Comfort on board is a relative concept. For instance, there's no shower here, even in first-class carriage. All travelers can count on is a tap like this one. And in case you wonder, there's no hot water. The train makes a few dozen stops on the way. Each one is a good opportunity for travelers to stretch their legs and stock up on local food. Croissants by the looks of things. Yeah, vegetables and stuff inside. Yeah. Mm. It's quite tasty. Very good. How's been your journey so far? Yeah, it's been fantastic. It's been yeah. lots of fun. You know, uh, different people coming in and out of the cabin and 
down in the dining cart, all the locals getting involved as well. So It's just a brilliant opportunity to meet, meet different people that you might not normally come across. So. Meeting new people is an essential part of train travel. It's also the best way to kill time, whether in first or second class coaches, or in the tail end wagon, the third class, called Platzkart. An open space carriage many here enjoy, and not just because it's cheap. I like to communicate with people, and uh, when I talk to people, my ways uh, become shorter, so I enjoy speaking. The dining car is also very popular, always open. This is the place where travelers meet, eat, and drink, and where tongues loosen up. Tatiana Balendina runs the show here. Over the years, she's heard more than a few live stories, more than a few secrets. People tell us things they can't tell anyone else because they know they'll never see us again. <laughs> Men complain about their wives mostly. We end up knowing a lot about them. Natalie and Dean's journey through Russia is nearly over. Next step, Mongolia, then China. New countries, new trains, new challenges. But for Tatiana and Angelica, the journey doesn't stop. For them, life on board the Trans-Siberian Express is never ending. A life made of departures and arrivals, of passengers who come and go all along this legendary railroad, this train like no other. Jean-François Bélanger, CBC News, on board the Trans-Siberian Express.